I'm going to show you one way that your children might be hiding apps within folders on their iPhones. And before y'all come at me to tell me your children would never do such a thing, I do suggest that you check because they do a lot of things you probably don't know about and they're on a lot of things on the internet you might not know about. I am speaking from personal experience of not checking enough. All right, so you have to press down on one of the apps, the icons to make it jiggly. And what kids do is they layer these apps on top of each other to make a folder. Then they open the folder and the apps they don't want you to see, they just kind of move them over to the right to get onto another page. As you can see, it's indicated on the bottom that this is the second page, then the first page, and the second page, and then the first page. So all you need to do is go into the folders and kind of You swipe. need to look for any app that has it internet chat feature where your children can communicate with anybody pretending to be whomever. Even if it's four plus, if it has a chat feature, they don't need to be on it depending on the age. Roblox, Zoomerang, Instagram, Pinterest, Snapchat, and TikTok are all 12 plus for a reason. Yik Yak, Among Us. Yarn is a reading app, but it has really inappropriate stories with sex and violence. Kik, K-I-K. Omegle, O-M-E-G-L-E. -E. Apparently this, this app will partner you up with somebody around the world you don't know. Twitter has a lot of inappropriate content. You would never think that, but they have access to a lot of stuff on Twitter. The internet is a scary place, y'all.